Okay, so first of all, you must have a ThinkSpeak channel. With the smartphone and this app, you can send data to the ThinkSpeak channel, which can be retrieved either by Intel Edison or Arduino. With that data, you can glow a bulb or can do Internet of Things. You can send data back to the app, which can be viewed as a chart. You can also set conditions in the app. And if those conditions are met, you will hear a pre-recorded message. You can also see the timing of the last two triggered alarms. Okay, so first of all, we'll click on the icon. And we'll get four fields. The first one is channel ID. The second one is C data. The third is task. And the fourth one is upload. So first we'll enter our channel ID. 45058. This is my channel ID. And you have to enter yours. And then we'll click save. Then first we'll see the data. So I can click the field that I want to see here. Let's say I want to see the field number one. And I can see that the data is being shown here. I can also change the refreshing rate using this slider. The maximum is 120 seconds and the minimum is 5 seconds. So the data is approximately, the last data point is approximately between 0 and 500. So I'll send some data from my laptop. And let's say I want to, I'll send 500 in this field number 1. And we'll see whether the data is changing in the real time or not. Okay. So this we can see the data has been changed to 500. So the data is actually being changed in the real time. I can also click any other field. For example, let's say 2. And this is the humidity data and I have not sent any data in this field. The next thing we'll see is the task. This is one of the best features of this app is we can set the task. Let's say if field 1 value is between 2 and 100. We wanted to say warning conditions met and then done and then we wanted to vibrate for two seconds then done then we can click save as soon as we click save it will show that alarm will trigger if field one value is between 2 and 100 so now I'll send the data I'll send 50 from my laptop and then we'll see whether the alarm triggers or not. So as soon as the data is received, it will not trigger the alarm instantaneously. It takes 15 to 20 seconds because that is the scan time. Okay, so this is, this was the alarm and if I click on this, this button, this show alarm button, I can see that it has shown the channel this this field one is this occurred at 30th July 2015 at this time so this is the time according to your clock and the value was 50 so I can hide this alarm I'll again send the value I'll send 20 this time which is also under which is also between 2 and 100 and we'll see whether Warning the conditions met. Okay, so again the alarm has triggered. Now we can see again it has been updated. The value was 20, which I have sent from a laptop, and then the previous value was 50. So you can see previous two alarms that has been executed. Okay, then we'll again enter. This time I want to show you one more feature, which is let's say the alarm has been saved. So if I'm not opening this app if the app is not open so I'll not press the back button rather I'll press this middle button and let's say I'm doing some other tasks and now I'll send the data again 20 and we'll see whether this time when the app is not on the screen the alarm triggers or not so 
so I'm doing some other function I've not exited the app but I have clicked the middle button of the cell phone warning conditions met okay so they also work this way also now I'll go back and click in the icon of the app and we'll perform its fourth thing that is we want to upload the data so first let's see what was the previous data that that is here in the field number one so the value is between 0 and 500 you can see here the last value is between 0 and 500 now to upload the data you need an API key which will be provided by ThingSpeak channel so we'll enter API key here it's a bit of a lengthy key but I'll enter which is H 8 R E K W R E K W Q double H Q double H 1 H E 9 1 H E uh, line zero DJ zero D J so I can click save remember the channel ID it is not showing here but the channel ID has been saved in the memory now I have saved it and now I'll upload the data I want to send 1000 in the field number one this is decided by the when you have to upload the data it will be decided by the API key so I'll click send and I'll wait for 2-3 seconds to make sure that the data is sent because it uses some URL because it opens a URL so you have to make sure that the data is sent so you have to wait for 2-3 seconds because if our internet speed is slow the data will not be uploaded so I'll again see the data and we'll see what is the latest data okay we can see the data has been uploaded and the latest data is 1000 so this is the app and this is how it functions it's a quite good app and uh, I hope you'll make very nice projects using these this app thank you